हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज योर हॉस्टेस मेहजीबीन इफ यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग क्विक पोइट्री नॉलेज फॉर अ वाइल नाउ यू वुड नो दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ट्यूटोरियल वीडियोस ऑन द पॉपुलर अमेरिकन पोएट रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस पोएम्स लाइक स्टॉपिंग बाय वुड्स ऑन अ स्नो इवनिंग एंड द रोड नॉट टेकन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट पोएम composed by frost this poem is fire and ice some say the world will end in fire the poet says that there are people in this world there is a cer certain section of people in this world who think that the earth when it eventually comes to an end it will end because of a massive fire some say in ice but then there are others who contradict this opinion they think that the earth will not be destroyed by fire but that it will be destroyed by a massive amount of ice from what i have tasted of desire now the poet is talking about his own feelings he says that from what i have experienced uh, experience about desire desire means human passion from what i have tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire so fire refers to human desire and the poet says that human desire human passion is enough to kill this world so from what i have tasted of desire i hold that means i support those people who feel that the world will end because of fire he is referring to his personifying uh, fire he is referring to human desire excessive desire can kill this world but if it had to perish twice but if this world had uh, were to get uh, destroyed two times i think i know enough of hate i know that the world is full of people who hate each other there is too much of hatred all over i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction that means to say that for the destruction of this world ice is also great ice is would also be sufficient that means hatred of men the hatred of men is also sufficient to kill this world to destroy the world permanently to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice that means ice would also be sufficient enough to uh, destroy the world we have several examples of uh, literary devices here like personification fire and ice fire represents desire ice represents hatred so these are examples of personification then we have anaphora some say some say these words these uh, words uh, these pairs are repeated uh, two times in order to uh, stress in order to lay emphasis on what the poet is trying to say and this kind of literary device is called anaphora then some say some say the first letters they start with s so this contributes to the music of the poem and such form of expression literary expression is called alliteration then apart from alliteration we also have another literary device and that is enjambment enjambment when from one line the meaning of what the poet is trying to convey it doesn't uh, the meaning does not become clear unless we read the next line and you can we, we see that here in these two lines we do not have a comma similarly in the last three lines last three uh, three lines here to say that for destruction ice is also great and would su suffice we don't have any comma here this is just one line it looks like one line so this kind of expression is called enjambment when the words flow when the meaning of the words flow from one line to another line so apart from personification we have examples of anaphora alliteration and enjambment 
in this very short but very interesting poem composed by the famous American poet Robert Frost. Well, that's all for today. I'll meet you again with the summary and central idea of this poem. Bye.